Now that you are ready for your second lesson. Welcome les gens, soyez les bienvenus dans Tales from the Crate, nouvelle recette avec de gros morceaux de vidéos dedans. On démarre ce deuxième numéro sans blabla, direction Anvers pour un épisode consacré à l'un des plus impressionnants palmarès du Belgikistan côté platine, celui de DJ Cross, générique. In Antwerp, it was like a, some kind of, of festival, I think you could call it. Like a festival and it was like a stage, like a Studio Brussels stage, where you can go on a stage and you could actually try the turntables. It was like a little bit like a workshop, but it's just like a place where you could just try, you know. And uh, and I was there, well, I was wait, 15 years old, I don't know. How old was I in 2000? I don't know, yeah, 15, like say 15. I was there on the stage and I was like, okay, I want to try it, you know, like just stupid, you know. And then I, tr I tried it, I had my, my head like this, real low, and I was high, and I was just trying and doing nonsense, you know, because it was, I couldn't do nothing, you know, so it was, and, uh, but but from from this moment, I really knew I get off the stage and I was so psyched that I would, I was like, oh, I, I need I need those those turntables and, and what 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 what's the name of this thing in between the turntables? Uh, and I had a friend who who DJed already a little bit, so he told me, yeah, you need a you need a mixer, you know, like like a DJ mixer. And I was like, yeah, I need to go find a job and and get those things because I, I need to do it. I started really on on my own a little bit with all the with my music idea. Like my my both my parents were not so interested in music and and nobody of my friends really. And um, I think I think the first hip hop track that I that I that I liked was on a, on a, on a CD from a, uh, this basketball movie with um, Michael Jordan with the Looney Tunes. Daffy Duck is is rapping on one of those tracks, right? <laughs> I really liked it. <laughs> but it took me it took me some years to really have a good idea of what I what I what I like and what is what is a good material, what is a good beat to to win a competition. So it's it's not easy to pick tracks. But for for me, it, it it needed to be to be loud, you know. It just needed to be impressive. So in the beginning, I, I didn't I didn't understand that. I think I thought that in the beginning, yeah, if it's soulful, if it's it's nice music, then now oh, it's gonna be nice. People are gonna like it, and they're gonna listen. And but it's not true, you know. They just want at, at championships. They just want noise, you know. They want aggressive uh, aggressive tracks. They want they want a show, you know. They don't want a musician playing his his violin, you know, they just want uh, some uh, so some some hard sounds. So, so yeah, I liked really a lot like a drumstep kind of kind of beats, like a fast, um, heavy bass, loud music. Yeah, I like when it's it's done with ease, you know. Like I like it when it's when it's pleasant to look at, you know. I don't like a, like a sweaty uh, DJ that's <sighs> and doing like all bunch of stuff super fast and too fast for him, you know. Like I. Oh, cannot handle it you know so I, I don't really like it if it's too <clears throat> too hectic I started scratching by myself with nobody to help me and I think I, there was also no YouTube there was no videos I didn't have nothing to 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 compare or to to, to practice to or so I, I I think it's it's good for me that I had that I had this moment to start by my own to like develop a little bit my own idea of, of everything and then after after uh, after a few years, I, I moved to Antwerp with my mother, and here I I met um, DJ Masterfingers, and um, and so for me he was like the, the the big guy, you know. Like when I met him, I was like, oh, okay, so there is somebody who can do what I do, but much better. So that so was really interesting for me, and I, w I was starting meeting this guy really a lot. It was it was my best friend for uh, for many years. 
C'est en emménageant à Anvers que Cross rencontre Jack et Masta Fingas avec lesquels il va monter sa première équipe, IFC, une bannière sous laquelle il se frottera à ses premières compétitions. Pourtant, c'est vers le solo que Cross se tourne rapidement et après avoir accumulé assez de victoires locales et nationales pour retapisser les murs de son studio, il s'illustre lors des championnats du monde IDEA en montant sur la troisième place du podium en 2010 avant de décrocher en 2011 le temps convoité titre de champion du monde. Le solo s'est donc fait, retour en équipe, Dès l'année suivante, Cross rejoint The Mix Fit, jusque-là formé par Jack, son vieux pote, et Damon Ted, l'un des grands anciens du DJing Made in Belgium. Et le trio n'est pas venu pour sucer les glaçons. The Mix Fit est sacré champion du monde DMC en équipe dès leur première participation. Pour Cross, le rêve de gosse est désormais complet. They asked me to do, to come with them to, to do the DMC. They didn't ask me to, to be part of the Mix Fit, you know, they just asked me, let's do a, a DMC routine. And I was like, okay, I didn't, I didn't think for one second, it's like, okay, let's do it, you know? And, um, <clears throat> and so we were working and it was going well, you know? I, we had really nice time with us three, like working and it, we, we, we laughed a lot. We, we did some really nice work, I think. And, and, and one day Chris, uh, demented asked me just, uh, if I wanted to be in, in the mix. And I'm like, shit, yeah, you know, <laughs> I remember his, uh, his text message. He, he sent me a text message like, Do you want to be a uh, number number three of the mix fits? And I was like, I didn't thought it was serious, you know, because we were thinking about a name to do the DMC routine. And I thought like, oh, maybe, maybe he just wanted to call us the mix fits for the DMC, but he don't really want me to be inside. I don't know, because they were two already. It was a DJ duo. So a trio seems to me like a bit crazy. So I said, so I answered his message, see his message. So he sent me, do you want to be number three? And I say I will always be number one, you know, like a stupid, stupid, selfish, uh, like answer, stupid answer. And then I was, I was thinking like, oh damn, what did, what did I send? And then, and then after a while, it was, it was clear that they just wanted me, me to be part of uh, the mix fits as a party trio. I think uh, Demented really taught me really a lot about about music, you know, about about making music, about styles of music, about instruments, about rhythm, about everything, you know? So I think, yeah, it's maybe the most important thing, you know, like to, 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 um, to trade knowledge and to, to, to gain experience with, with, with friends. And it makes everything also much more fun, you know, because I was training a lot alone and, and it wasn't, I, I can be alone, you know, I, I like to be alone, you know, it's okay, but After a while, you know, it's nice to have uh, to to work together on music with friends. So it's 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 much more pleasant, and it's it's you you gain knowledge much more fast, you know. Avant 2012, The Mix Fits connaissait déjà un certain succès, mais après leur victoire au championnat du monde DMC, la cote des trois Belges explose et le trio, puisque c'en est un désormais, se voit ouvrir les portes des festivals internationaux et des plus gros clubs électro à travers l'Europe. Tomorrowland, Buckle Pop, Landry Day, Les Ardentes, la liste est longue. Pour Cross, c'est l'occasion de plonger dans un univers encore vaguement inédit, celui des scènes dont le public se compte en dizaines de milliers de personnes. Et pour nous, celle de s'interroger sur les codes qui régissent ces festivals, clubs branchés et autres grands messes voués au déhanchement du bassin en masse. Alors, même si on a bien une petite idée sur la question, qu'est-ce qui différencie si fondamentalement deux mondes que le public oppose en général, parfois à tort, les scènes dites plutôt hip-hop et les grands rendez-vous internationaux consacrés au culte du clubbing électro The DJ scratch hip hop uh, scene uh, is 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 for one much smaller. It's really small. It's it's more about love of the music and love of the turntables and love of the hip hop and and it's more about about friendship and and seeing each other and 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 just having a nice time and and not being paid for gigs and and to have like shitty stages. But it's all good because you are with friends. It's it's it's. It's it's more something you do out of love, you know, and and like the big festivals, uh, all the commercial um, uh, uh, things is 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 you. It's more business, you know. It's 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 really you gotta have like a certain image, you know. You have to act right. You have to 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 play the right tracks, you know. The the the, the right tracks for for them and not the right tracks for you, you know. So it's 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 a whole other game, you know. It's really nice, just people like taking care of you basically and <clears throat> the most important thing is I think to pick the right people you know and that is, this is really not easy 
because in the like in the more like a uh, festival club uh, atmosphere the people they like you because you're successful but it's not the other way around you know if you're not successful they, they will just leave you like this you know it's, it's it's not because they like you that they, they are helping you but if you can find people you know that that could be your friends and that also like to work together with you that, that, that that's the perfect that's a perfect deal I think but I, I think it's hard to find people really good people to work with people if they come to clubs or to to to, to big uh, to big festivals they're they're not they're not coming no more to check uh, like how how the dj is playing they, they just want to party you know they basically they don't care so so and and there are still there are still really a lot of people who who do care you know and it's for for those people that we do it because those people are talking and they are you know so it's important to to stay to stay creative because or else we could just play with usb stick and, and come in here and, and don't have to carry a big uh, mixer and at every party, at every festival, at every club, there are like uh, three CDJs and uh, one uh, Pioneer mixer, and everybody just plug his USB, and it's 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 much more easy. You know, we need a lot of space. We need turntables. We need turntables in, in good. We need good turntables, you no, know, because our else our Serato isn't working. So it's it's for PA guys when we are coming, it's like okay, they need to work, you know. For the rest of the evening, you know, they just they just sit, you know. So so it's. I could say we are like a pain in the ass, you know, but but at the end if you wanna if you wanna book some DJs who are really DJing then I think it's really worth it. So one time somebody told us like maybe you could he was telling us maybe you could like because we're doing everything alive, you know, we are scratching this our thing, we are real DJs, we're doing real life stuff, even at really big festivals we are doing live stuff. So and then he was like, yeah, maybe you could like uh, uh, pre-record uh, some some things, you know, so so you have more time to play with the public, you know. So he was like telling us basically, stop DJing and put your hands in the air and like like this. So 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 we didn't do that. <laughs> and at the end of the day, people still think it's really cool, you know like uh, a scratch dj like to scratch a turntable is also is will be forever like a, a cool thing to have you know so um, so i think turntablism and using turntables is, is is still really really important because you can do things that you can't do with with cds so and i never touched cds in my life i don't know how the things work so for me it's those things Alongside the MB, the world is in trouble. I won't tell you where I'm at. It goes, I'm it.